Lady purposely hit my truck because she didn't like where I parked so I got revenge with mice. I was visiting my cousin who lives on a street that has no garages and very few driveways. So everyone parks on the street. This makes for a lot of people having to find parking where they can and walk to their house since the parking is scarce. I park across the street from his house at the first open space. There's no reserved parking, handicapped signs or anything. It's just street parking. When I come out to leave a car has parked in front of me but it's actually hit my truck and still sitting there touching it. It didn't do a ton of damage but it did dent my bumper and my grill. I assume the driver just didn't realize what they did. It's not a big enough deal to call the cops and I don't know what house they're attached to since few people end up lucky enough to park in front of their own house. I'm basically going to forget about it unless I see the car's owner. I snapped some pics and wrote down the license plate. Just then another neighbor comes out and tells me he watched the car park and that the driver was mad someone had parked in front of her house and she had her passenger get out and direct her to back up enough to just barely hit my truck to teach me a lesson about parking in front of her house. The neighbor tells me about how she's done this before to other people's cars, how everyone on the street hates her, how he's caught her red-handed putting her extra garbage bags next to his trash can on garbage day because she thought he'd already gone to work. Those extra bags cost extra to haul. That she's taken people cats and dogs to the animal shelter and instructed them to be put down, dump dog poop on the cars of people she thinks own the dogs etc, just a real witch of a woman. So I'm pissed now and rather than confront her and need to get police involved I just decided to get revenge. First I took a diabetic syringe and shot some super glue into all the house's exterior door locks then me and my cousin had drinks on his front porch while we waited for her to get home. When she got there I saw a spinster grouchy faced lady in her late 40s early 50s. She gave us a glare for no reason as she got out of her car. She of course couldn't get her key to work and we watched her try to get in her house for an hour before a locksmith showed up. He couldn't figure it out either. She ended up getting a contractor to come out and break and then replaced all the locks. She never had a clue why it stopped working. I wasn't finished yet though. The next day I went there with a can of pepper spray and I sprayed her front door handle with it. Pepper spray leaves behind a slight oily residue. People touch their face way more than they realize. So again waited on the porch with cousin to see her come home 15 minutes after she got home she comes running outside holding her face and screaming. She tries to get in her car but can't see to drive. We ask her if she's okay and she doesn't know so we call an ambulance and she goes to the hospital. Comes home and says DR thinks it's an allergic reaction and instead of thanking us for helping her instead says if we were decent neighbors we'd have driven her to the hospital and saved her the cost of the ambulance. Tells us we're as worthless as everyone else on this street. Bitch. So I decide I'm still not done. So I wait a few days and drove to visit my cousins again and her car isn't around. So I walk around her house just inspecting. I see a small broken window pane in a basement window. She has an unfinished basement you can see through the dirty glass. So I went to the local pet store and bought 100 gray mice making sure to get 50 males and 50 females, plus some rodent food. So I went back to her house and dumped all 100 through the broken window along with sneaky dropping in the food. Do you realize how fast 100 breeding pair mice will turn into 1000? 10,000? So a month later she has major exterminators over and a week after that she puts her house up for sale. All the neighbors badmouthed the house to all the potential buyers and she ended up accepting an offer over 100k less than her asking price. Good riddance. Now nice people live there. Karma's a bitch bitch. Edit 1, thank you to all the people who enjoyed my revenge story. I felt great about watching it unfold and I feel great about it to this day. To those of you who think I went too far I'm glad I didn't post one of my more serious revenge stories. You're not ready for pro. LOL. You guys woulda had an aneurysm. Smiling face with horns. Please like and subscribe improvements will be made to the videos hopefully soon.